A squash-shaped Karen is causing trouble at a Walmart. For some reason, she bought a gift card to Walmart and then tried to use the very gift card at that same Walmart. The card was declined and this would be the point of no return. No pun intended. The Karen then flags down any yellow shirt wearing person who looks like a manager. When one stops, she screams at the person and yells that she will never come back. That very day, peace was restored to the Walmart. <laughs> You're a woman standing on a self-checkout register in a Walmart. You're demanding help, but help does not come. A worker walks by and tells you to get down, so you do only to get back up when he walks away. It's at this moment the entire store realizes this thing is a Karen. Come on! Somebody pick up your phone! Walmart. 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 What does it mean to be a Walmart Karen? Bothering managers, being rude to the employees? Today's Karen does both of those things and she really sucks. An elderly worker named Donna is going about her shift when a Karen approaches. Not much context is given in the clip, but of course the Karen is demanding a manager. One can only hope that Donna ended up owning the Karen, but we will never know. What? Do you have a medical issue? <laughs> yeah. What's your medical issue? It's set of your business. Well, I'm a nurse. I'm just wondering if you're unbelievably rude. Have you had a stroke? Because at least that didn't go sucks. No, I'm being straight. Are they still down, Rachel? I want you to call a manager up here. Rachel, a woman wants to speak with a manager. Much nicer with Rachel. A group of African Americans are shopping at a Walmart. Out of nowhere, a worker with the face of a Muppet accuses the group of stealing. This was likely not the case, but the Karen had crossed the line. See, during this time, racial tensions were at an all-time high, and Karens were at the forefront of the problem. This was a dark time, no pun intended, and the following clip is a representation of that era. Turn this into corporate. Like yeah, that. yeah, this this Walmart you right here. You turn me into corporate. This Walmart, yeah. Because unless you're spending money, uh -huh. we don't need. Oh, we not. I'm not spending money. Am I? Because uh, I'm black. Uh, what do we do? Because I'm black. The people tonight, I've had to chase away because they think Walmart is a playground. What did I do? What did, hold on, hold on. Let me say this. What did I do to make this a playground, ma'am? What have I done to make this a playground? They come in and browse and backpacks. They don't, they, I asked them if they yeah, take yeah, their yeah. And, and did we, did we have a problem? Well, you can't assume. No, no, wait, let her talk, let her talk. Let her prepare herself. No, it doesn't. I asked them to take their backpacks out. And they I will not them. have him treating me like that. If you don't stand up, you've got to be your no. dancer too. No. Now you take care of him. No, oh, Mary, okay. I'll take care of you. What? No. Wow. This you got superior standards. What? He let her talk to me. Not you. Treat me like this. No, I'm the customer. You're the worker. Spend money. Then. I'm the customer. Oh, I got money. More money than you make. What you talking about? What you gonna do? Take this. Oh, now, oh, now we got. I'm a customer. You're more than welcome to. Drug money. Drug money. Drug money. I sell drugs. Now I sell drugs. Hold on, let me finish. Nothing is going on. Okay. I, I deal with customers on a daily day basis. 
that's that's profile. And what she did, do you have something I can help you with? For her to come up and approach us like that in that manner, that is not right. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't. So, if she don't get fired. <laughs> Customer service can be one of the most annoying jobs on the planet, but sometimes something special happens. A Karen is blowing up the phone of a Walmart demanding to speak to a manager. Obviously, the worker kept telling the Karen that the managers were in a meeting. This would not appease the Karen. The employee was left with no choice but to continuously hang up on the Karen and have fun while doing so. Y'all, this lady keep calling. Customer service. Hey, I don't know who you think you are that you think you can hang up in my face, but you're not gonna do it again. Okay. Get me a manager on this <laughs> Yeah, she called to talk to a manager, right? All the managers are in a meeting. So I let her know that. She said, no, you're not gonna hang up on me. So I hung up the first time. Then she just called back again and said what she said. Girl, you you don't have any power here. Said you're not gonna hang, bye. <laughs> here she go again. Customer service. I will have you all fired if you don't get me a manager. The managers are in a meeting, ma'am. Okay, well, ma'am, you know what? I am not stupid. You have some. <laughs> Customer service. You know what? I'm gonna keep calling until you get a manager on the phone. They're in a meeting, ma'am. I don't care. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Customer service. Ma'am, I'm gonna keep calling every department until you get somebody. You're gonna keep getting me, ma'am. The managers are in a meeting right now. Well, I am glad that you're the only one that I'm going to get because now they'll know who's been such a bitch. Oh, you want a tussle. <laughs> I am going to report you. You've been rude and disrespectful. I told you the managers are in a meeting, ma'am. I can't and feel you your request. And you up in my face. You didn't even try. Bye. Need to speak to a manager. They're still in a meeting, ma'am. Then transfer me to electronic. Okay, one second. So disrespectful. She hung up on me seven times. She laughed in my face. And I was so mad with her that I called her a bitch. That's how disrespectful she was to me. Friend, she crazy. She kept calling and harassing me over the phone. She kept calling me. So before I started recording, she called. I'm like, customer service, whatever, whatever. How can I help you? Can I speak to a manager? Oh, all the managers are in the meeting right now. Well, you need to get somebody, you ghetto girl. What? So then I started recording. I don't got that much time to explain, so if y'all want a story time, comment down below. So after the ghetto girl, it's it. You're done. You're done. I woke up, put lashes on, walked out the house just to get here and see that my lash was lifted and I didn't have no glue. So I was already irritated that I had to take them off. So I had time. I can't make this up, y'all. I told y'all, they crazy.